So you're considering running a branded search Google ads campaign and with good reason. A Google ads brand search campaign allows you to stave off any competitors that are looking to purge your keywords that are searching for you and they offer a similar service. So looking to steal that traffic and just allow you to have more authority and more professionalism for your business when people are searching for you by showing at the top of the search results every single time. And it doesn't cost you a whole lot as I'm going to show you here. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a Google ads branded search campaign for your business name keywords. Super simple, super easy to do. So we're gonna get right into it and jump into my computer. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, my name is Blake Bauer. I am the co-founder and CEO of a digital ad agency called Jet Ads. We help businesses jet to better ad results. So if you're interested in getting 20% better ad results for your Google ads, Facebook ads, or more, check the links in the description, go to Jet Ads, apply to work with our team, and we're happy to see if we're a good fit and helping you scale. All right, so here we are in my Google Ads account. Now, this is actually my agency account, so I figured this is a great place to start out to show you just what my campaigns actually look like last month. So you can see our agency doesn't get a ton of searches, but we do get some. We obviously, as you can see here, we got 58 clicks last month on our branded search campaign. A 22% click-through rate costs about $2.67 Canadian for our branded search campaign. And we only spent $155 overall. And that got us 52% search impression share on things like jet ads. We have this on phrase match for jet ads, right? And you can see we have jet ads. We also have a like jet advertising, jet magazine advertising. So some, some other stuff gets in there, which we've excluded now, but just so you kind of know how that looks. So let's go ahead and get into exactly how to set this campaign up. So I'm in the new view here. Uh, so if you want to change this, um, you can go ahead and use the previous design. It might look different, but this is the new view. Okay, so now that I'm back here in the overall overview of the campaigns right here, you'll see the option right here to create a new campaign. So again, once you've set up your Google ad account, if this is the first campaign you ever run, search Google ads, create a Google ad account, and then go here to create a new campaign. So click on create new campaign. And all you're gonna wanna do is just do leads. It really doesn't matter here. You can, you can create a campaign without a goal as well. If you want leads from your ads, like your branded search campaign or sales, then you can optimize for those things. But if you set it up without a goal, it, it really doesn't matter that much. So in this case, I'll just do leads because we do want leads from our branded search campaigns. And then we have our conversion events already set up there. Again, I have other videos on the channel if you need to set up conversion events. So from here, we're gonna select our campaign type and this is where we wanna do search. We're gonna do website visits in this case. And from here, we're gonna enter in our business's website. Grab our URL, go back to here, enter our URL and go continue. And then from here, we're gonna name our campaign. I typically name this our business name, so Jet Ads, and then I'll just do branded search. And then I'll put like a little disclosure for us. Jet, we just kind of use that acronym there, uh, but pretty simple campaign. And then you could also put like the locations that you're gonna do. So I would just do like Canada, so Can and USA, All right? So that's kind of how I would name this campaign. And then from there, we can just continue. So I'm gonna go start new. Awesome, now from here, we can set up our bidding. So what do you wanna focus on with this campaign? You can do clicks, impression share, conversion value. Again, I would more focus on impression share than anything for a branded search campaign. But I would just start out with clicks and that's totally fine. Uh, impression share can get a bit pricey sometimes and it's more advanced. So I'll just start out with clicks right here and you're gonna get a great impression share anyways on typical branded search keywords. So from here, you can set a maximum cost per click bid limit, but I would just have your daily budget in mind that you're willing to spend per month, right? So if you have, let's say, uh, $3,000 that you're willing to spend on branded search keywords, that's you know quite a bit, but depending on your business, that might be the right amount, that might be way too much, or that might be not enough at all, uh, depending on how much how big your brand is and how much people are searching for you. So in this case, I would just leave it and just kind of see what the cost per click bid limit is, and then you can always come back here and change that bid limit to outbid your competitors and make sure that you're getting all the impression share that you can. So I'm gonna focus on clicks there. I'm gonna go next. So you have the option here, turn off display. You do not wanna be showing up for display. It's just gonna waste your budget on a bunch of other things that aren't branded search and put your budget all over the place really. You can also go include Google search partners. And this is an option that you can really turn on or off. You can kind of read more about this here and what that means. But if you just wanna be focused on Google, you can turn this off as well. And this is going to be strictly Google search that your branded keywords are showing up for, which I would suggest. But again, you can turn this on and it'll spend on some other places as well on, on search terms. Now, again, for locations here, I'm just gonna select Canada, as I said, and the US, Canada, United States right here. And then for languages, right? You can go English right here. So do your languages, obviously, that you're targeting and that's totally fine. Audience segments, leave that open. 
broad match keywords, make sure that is off. If you turn on this conversion thing and might try to use this. So if you are optimizing for conversions, maybe of an e-commerce store or something, turn this off so that broad match is not on. You do not want broad match on your keyword for a branded search campaign. So next I'm gonna go down here, automatically create assets. I would also turn that off. You wanna create these assets yourself, best performing ads, all these settings are good. So go next right here. So from here, we'll help you create your ads. It's pulling all this from our website, which is fine. So you can definitely do this and it gives you a good place to start out from. So this is kind of a new AI feature. So I would definitely do this and that'll just help you kind of generate some ads based on these keywords and stuff. So from here, you can see this is our first ad group where now we're setting up our keywords and our ads. So this one, what I would just name is just Jet Ads Branded or your brand name branded, right? And then all you wanna do right here is, I'm gonna exit these out right here. And under keywords, all you're going to want to do, you can see you have the different keyword match types right here. Broad is just the keyword itself with no brackets around it. Phrase match is the keyword with brackets around it. And exact match is these uh, square brackets around it. Right, so what I would do for a branded search campaign is you wanna do square brackets around your brand name if people are only searching specifically for that or phrase match, right? And so in my case, I have phrase match because I want other people to, if they search jet ads, Google ads, I want it to show up for searches like that, right? So that's what phrase match essentially means. It's not gonna go broad and do things related to like ads in general just because it has that word. It's gonna be jet ads and then anything else in that sequence. So it could be jet ads for my advertising or is jet ads good, right? For example, and I would show up for that or something like that. So your business, you might wanna also consider that, right? You might be wanting to bid on your brand and search keywords and people might be searching for your business and maybe your name or your business reviews or something like that. And you wanna show up for those types of keywords. So it's usually good to do phrase match but you can also do exact match, which again would be these types of brackets right here. And you only need to do the one keyword right here to show up for that. And so in my case, as you can see previously, when I looked at my campaign, which we'll take a, a deeper look at later, when I have this campaign set up on phrase match, you do get some irrelevant keywords coming in. And so exact match can just help kind of clean and remove that. If you're only looking to bid for people searching for exactly your business name, as it says, like just in my case, jet ads. So in this case, I'll just do the exact match here. And then we can just scroll down and then we're setting up our ads right here. So from here, you can see it's on broad match. We have quite a few different things right here. And we have like some different images and different things that we can set up right here. So for this, what you wanna do is add in your business name. We have our business logo right here. We have our descriptions right here, which you can work on and improve these obviously. And what I would recommend as well is to just set it up like this. So you have, you pin the locations here of each of these. So you can see, I'm bidding on branded search keywords and I want my brand name obviously to be the first thing in the headline, right? And so here I pinned this to position one and you can see now my brand name is showing up in position one. And then after that, you can have all of these non-pinned and all of them will show up essentially after your brand name. So as you can see, this is a really good branded ad. If someone searched for jet ads, it would show up very well, very clean with different variations of things after that and it'll test out all of these different other headlines to see which performs best which gets a better click-through rate so that's essentially how you would set that campaign up and then from there what you do is go next right you would set your daily budget which again google will give you an estimate based on the keywords that you're targeting of how much you need to spend and so i wouldn't be afraid here if you want to just get as much impression share as possible for your branded terms of setting this budget higher so in this case it's recommending me a dollar a day because not a lot of people are searching for jet ads in my case, right? And so for your business, you might need a higher budget. And so whatever it suggests, I would recommend going with that budget or setting it even a little bit higher and not worrying about its overspending. It typically will underspend of anything if you set the budget higher and you don't have enough impression share to actually get enough impressions, enough clicks on that ad because not enough people are searching for it. So again, do something you're comfortable with and willing to invest to uh, dominate that keyword and you should be totally fine with the recommendation and you don't need to spend a whole lot again in my case only one dollar most local businesses only need you know a couple dollars a day and if you are a bigger business right you might start to get to spend you know a hundred dollars a couple hundred dollars i've even seen thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent on branded search uh, but that's obviously in like extreme cases for very large businesses so in this case go a dollar right here and then we're gonna go next and then we would go ahead and publish this campaign Okay, and then once you publish the campaign, that's gonna start running and you're gonna start getting impressions for your actual branded search keywords. And if you actually search for your business name and you're targeting the right location for yourself, 
right? In my case, if I show it's jet ads right here, you'll see your ad is actually right here and you can see what that's gonna look like. And it'll give you some idea of the eligible results right here. And it's gonna give you some recommendations as well. I also have Google Search Console, so it's showing me that. And then right under is my organic listing, but this is the sponsored listing right here. And so you can also do it on a different device where you don't have connection to Google Ads and you will actually see yourself showing up for your branded terms with that ad, um, which is pretty cool. And then you can measure your results right here. So you can just pop in and you can see your impression share, which you can adjust here in the metrics. So if you go like general metrics, you can add in search impression share right here. And you can see how much of the total impressions that you could get are you getting uh, and it'll give you all of that data right here, making it super simple to measure. And you really don't have to optimize this campaign. In general, you're gonna get a high CTR because your brand name obviously is very specific to you. And so this ad is always gonna perform very well. And again, just staves off competition. And lastly, here's another example of a bigger brand that we're managing and helping them with uh, Google ads and also branded search campaigns. Um, and we typically do this for almost every single company that we work with on Google ads because it's a low investment in most cases, but it can really help to increase that brand authority and again, remove competition. And so as you can see here in the last six months, really year to date, we've spent about 8K on this brand for 1.6K clicks. And we have about an 81% impression share and we do track conversions on this so we can see how our conversions kind of go. Um, but this is a more extreme case of a larger business that gets a lot more searches. And so you can see what we're spending on a daily basis right here to get these branded search results right here. And so you can scroll down, right? And you can see we're bidding on this one keyword right here. And we do have quite a bit of keywords, people searching for us, but our CTR is also extremely high right here. If we go to our CTR, you can see 42% of people searching for us are clicking on our ads because it's branded. And then our cost per click is about $4.09 Canadian. So in some cases it can get a bit higher if you have higher competition and things like that and competitors bidding on your actual keywords. And there you have it. That is how to set up a branded search campaign on Google ads for your business. If you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest content I'm putting out around digital marketing and digital advertising. And also, if you are a business owner and you're looking for help with ads, getting better results, increasing your leads, increasing your sales, then check the link in the description, apply to work with my team. We're happy to see how we can help give you a free growth audit of, of your advertising and give you a growth map of how you can actually increase your results or work with us and we can help you scale things. So thanks so much. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll talk soon.